So Alans, I've got a pretty damn good team in NBA 2K23, my team. But is it the best team in the game? I don't actually think so. I think you can definitely get a better team than the team that I personally have put together in my team. I really do think that it is possible, if not like achievable, to get a better team than this. And again, you guys can see it right here. I got the damn Derrick Rose card, which I will make a video on that a little bit later. But we are going to be talking about the best team that you guys can get in NBA 2K23, my team. And yeah, let's get on to it. Before we do that, sorry, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying so hard to hit 300,000 subscribers. If we can hit that by my birthday, which is the 29th, which is three weeks from now. I know you might be saying, oh, you've gained like 400 subscribers in the last day, but it's like, nah, that, that's not how it works. The hype's gonna die down very soon for 2K23, and we just need to stay on top of things. So anyway, in terms of these rewards, we have to take, in terms of the best squad, we have to take into account that it's essentially only possible to get one token case or token um, trophy case reward. It's only possible to get one. So you got to really pick on what position. So we are going to make the squad without the trophy case. And then afterwards, I'm going to tell you guys what trophy case card would make the best squad if you haven't started for that already. Most of these cards are beasts. So point guard. For me, it's got to be Steph. I don't know why I was like questioning that. Steph and Curry. The best point guard in the game that you guys can buy right now is Stephen Curry. Because he is just, he's just tough. He's tough to stop. Like you look at his stats, he got like 91 speed. His defense is pretty damn good. He dunks on people. He's got limitless range. He will hit shots that no other players will hit in the game. He's got the Curry size. He's got all Steph Curry's animations. There are just things, and he's a rim grazes off one. There are things that Steph Curry does that not a lot of other players do in this game. So he is one of these like unique players. Then there's a lot of Steph Curry cards. Like don't get me wrong. Like no matter what version of Steph, even if you're using this Steph, which I use, as which I well, he won't be my backup now. I was using as back as my backup point guard. Even if you have this version of Steph, it's great. This version of Steph is a beast, especially if you go and duo him up with Del Curry. If you go and duo him up with Del Curry, he's insane. And yeah, this Steph just he, he has to be in there as the point guard of choice. He has to be in his point guard of choice. As the backup point guard, though, it is Ja Ja Binks. Ja Morant. It is Ja Morant right here. So it's not going to be that version. Um, it's going to be this version right here. Again, obviously, if you are, you're not going to be using this guy on Evoed. And there's another really good player that a lot of people do like, and it is Terry Rogier. So I think they were kind of just in general what people were running. A lot of people really like Terry Rogier because again, he's got Terry Rogier base. For me, he's just, I just prefer Ja. So Ja Morant ends up getting like an 80 something three ball. He still has that really good speed. He dunks on everybody. He has incredible animation, his own dribble style, his own release on quick. One of the best releases, period, in this game. John Morant, I'm telling you guys, is that dude. He is that dude. And if you get your starter card, Ja, he is absolutely incredible, lads. He is a beast. Definitely better than Rondo, from what I've seen, anyway. And Ja definitely belongs in here as a secondary point guard. So shooting guards. Like, we're looking at best shooting guards in this game. So players, positions, shooting guard, primary and secondary. I think that there is like two guys that everyone should be running. I just keep clicking on the wrong thing. And it is Levine. So I think it's Zach Levine. And I also think that Mullen are the two best at these positions. So it's Levine and Mullen. So Levine is a freaking beast, man. Looking at the comments on 2KDB, he is so, so good. Uh, probably the best shooting guard in the game. He probably is. Like, Levine carried. I mean, Levine carried me for quite a while. He's got Levine base on quick. It's not the fastest release in the world, but the Levine fade is insane. He's got the Levine escape, which is good. Really good dunk packages. At this In this game, it's no longer quick chops off one. It's by far the best dunk package. He's got a really good dunk. Solid defense. He's even got half pogo stick, which is a pretty decent badge to have. He's got clamp breaker and goal. Quick first step on gold. All these shooting badges. It doesn't have a limitless range, even though he shoots from deep. Trust me, he does shoot from deep. And yeah, just an incredibly good card with two hot zones. I'm a huge fan of this card. He is a beast. And Mullen is, in fact, just the best shooter in the game, including maybe including Steph Curry. Mullen base is fine, but he gets the normal leaner. There's just something about his release. He just doesn't miss. 93 three ball, 70 driving dunk, 83 lateral. Like, really good. He's also got catch and shoot, agent three, amped, blinders, claymore, clutch shooter. Corner specialist, like, and all the shooting badges. 
Saying he's better than Steph might be gassing, but Mullen is an incredible, incredible player to run the shooting guard position. At small forward then, obviously you can run Chris Mullen there as well. But if you want to look at small forwards, for me it's a tough one because you're obviously looking at Dominique, who I think Dominique is a given in that position. And I'm probably going to go Lamar Odom. So I think Odom's actually, I think uh, Odom's probably better than Dominique. I think Lamar Odom at small forward is like the best. And then Dominique, you know, I would consider playing draft. I'm, I'm getting, sorry, not considering playing draft. I'm getting Lamar Odom. So my next thing I'm going to do is I've already played TTO games. In TT offline games, I'll play nearly all of them. So I'm just going to play some clutch, 35 clutch time offline games just to set myself up because I'm going to be getting the Dark Galaxy Opal this season anyway. So I might as well set myself up and get myself Lamar Odom. I'm not in a rush to get a second pink diamond. So I'm basically just going to get Lamar Odom and whoever the next RNG card is. I'm just going to go and get them. Um, but Odom is, is really good. Like Odom is really, really good. So what you're getting with Lamar Odom is in like an 83 ball, 83 speed. His stats are just unbelievably well-rounded. He can go badges. His jumper is fine. Chetty Osmond release is fine. Upper is fine. Um, he's also got the pro dribble style, which is good. The big thing about Odom is he's a 6'10 small forward. At this tie stage of the game, it's huge. You're not getting much better than that. You're not getting much more than that for that height at this stage of the game. He is an absolute, absolute freaking beast. I'm telling you, lads, this guy is insanely good. And then when it comes to Dominique Wilkins, Dominique Wilkins is like, should be better than he is. Like stats wise and everything, he's perfect. A lot of people I know use him as a lock. He has Ray Allen base, which I'm not the highest on, if we're being honest. Um, He's a weird upper. I've used him a bit. I'm not the highest on this release. He's got a terrible dribble style. Like he dribbles like he's a big man. And he dunks the ball well. He will hit some wide open shots. He's a solid defender, but he is like three and you can. He's probably, him or, ja, him or Ja are probably the weakest players in the squad and he'll get replaced very, very soon. And I think you can maybe make the argument, you can make the argument that a LeBron James is better than him. You can make the argument that a Kawhi Leonard is better than him. Honestly, this dude is freaking him. Robert Reeve might be better than him. In, actually, in-game, Robert Reeve might be better just because of his size and his release. But I'm going to give Dominique just the nod right here. I'm going to give him that position. So then we're talking about power forwards in this game. And it all really depends on what you're looking for. Because there's a lot of good power forwards. So, obviously, well, no one has Larry Johnson. Like, Grand Hill for me kind of sucks. I played against him a few times. He's been bad. Um, see, Kevin Love offers a lot, but he's more of like a popper. He's probably the best popper in the game. But he's a 45 speed power forward who doesn't play defense. Julius Randle doesn't play defense either, but he's faster. Offers a little bit more on the offers a lot more in the offensive end. And I think Julius Randle is in with a shout of making this at the, at the power forward position. But I think that Scotty Barnes is probably the guy most people are running because he's got good speed, good shot, good defense, really solid rebounding, decent release. I think Scotty Barnes overall belongs at that spot. But the backup is a tough one because for me, it's probably between Kevin Durant, it's between Giannis Antetokounmpo, who's really good, um, Xavier McDaniel and Kevin Durant. So for these three guys right here, like Giannis obviously cold zones everywhere, but he will green. Like trust me, he will green. He's got a 66 right three ball, pretty decent release. Jordan dribble style, which is really good. He's gonna move really well. Superb, superb on everything except shooting. And he will hit wide open shots if needed. Um, Xavier McDaniel, surprisingly enough with a lower three ball is absolutely chic. Better stats all around than Giannis. Not quite as good in animation. Super, super good release slightly better dribbling and probably a bigger player build but not quite as like lengthy so i think Giannis could slide on there and then kevin durant is a card that i only started using recently enough and um, because i saw like mj's using them defensively he's solid he gets rebounds quite well from what i've seen he's got an ejm dunk but he's at the 83 three ball and is absolutely chick but the player that i probably have the most success with is Giannis. it probably is Giannis. um if i were depends on who i'm running as my centers it probably is Giannis playing at that power forward position. He's really nice. He is really, really nice. 
and then we are going to the centers and again it really all depends on what you want do you want a popper do you want a big man if you want a popper go out and go get yourself kevin love or something because he's kind of the only one pau gasol pau gasol honestly probably it's between for me like keep clicking on the wrong thing for me it is um gobert is probably the best Rudy Gobert is probably the best, and then it's probably Gasol. But if you want to put Boogie in here instead of Gasol, I'm not. I wouldn't begrudge you. I would not begrudge you at all if you think the Marcus Cousins is better than Marcus or Pau Gasol. So Pau Gasol here and Rudy Gobert. So Rudy Gobert has got like terrible speed. His stats are terrible. There's just something about him. He blocks every single shot. He sets bigger screens. His player builds insane. He gets every rebound. Like Rudy Gobert is pretty damn nice. And then Pau Gasol solid speed his jump is not even that bad even though this power is all slow it's not that bad it is slow though um he's got really solid defensive stats really good center and again if you want to put buggy in here be my guest be my guest if you want to put the marcus cousins in here players that are close to make this the squad let's go to marcus cousins xavier mcdaniel and whichever one of the guys gets gotten rid of so when we're looking at trophy case awards i'm thinking either a power forward or a point guard and it's like who's better for the respective position ja or Giannis? and i'm actually gonna say ja is better for his respective position and i'm gonna say worthy james worthy john wall's one of the best released in the game like without question john wall released one of the best in the game he's a normal dribble style which is iffy but you've got a guy with perfect stats all around one of the best releases in the game can get every badge in the game and is already good enough when he gets like clamps to be a lock and he's got a huge player build i think worthy maybe jermaine o'neill maybe a power forward because his release got much better with Kelvin johnson's super quick the only problem is he's joel and b dribble style like vice grip a bunch of these really good playmaking badges great defense jermaine o'neill's really good Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll put in a point guard. So it's Steve Francis versus Derrick Rose. That's what we're coming down to. Steve Francis, Derrick Rose. So Derrick Rose plus 15 total stats. Better speed. Worse three ball. Better post news. So that doesn't matter. Defense very similar. Speed of ball very similar. So it's all going to come into badges. And you get more with Francis. Rose gets dimer ankle breaker. Whereas Francis... Uh, and quick first step, which is big. So he gets... And he gets some more shooting badges. Whereas Steve Francis gets... Limitless takeoff posterizer. Midi Magician. Midi Magician is more important for me than Quick First Step. Midi Magician is just glitchy. If you have half Midi Magician, that is just glitchy. So in terms of total badges, it does seem Derek Rose has him edged. Animations wise, they're very, very similar. The dribble styles are very similar. And um, size up and stuff, very similar. They move basically the same. So look, I'm gonna be biased. Because I have Derrick Rose. I put Derrick Rose in here. And I will start Derrick Rose a point guard. But if you want to move Stevie Francis down there, I'm fine with that. So anyway, yeah, that is the video, lads. This is the team that I have got picked as the best team of my team. If you don't agree, that's perfectly fine. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.